podcast. We're here with Paul Ryber, Vince, another uh, repeat guest. We're having some issues with this uh, fucking headphone situation. Uh, yeah. It's like 20 minutes of doing nothing. It's pretty annoying. But uh, I think it should be good now. But I know Paul's like, we could do this we totally without headphones. headphones. <laughs> it just feels legit with headphones. So we're going to keep the headphones on. Yeah, it feels nice. But uh, honestly, I don't like it. You don't have to have your <laughs> headphones on if you don't want to. You could take them off. You could take them off because it doesn't affect them. But really? Yeah, yeah, you don't need your headphones. Okay. It's entirely up to you. But uh, so we're here today, just <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, the twenty fifth, I believe, or twenty fourth. It's the it's February twenty five. Yeah. Yeah, we're right. the twenty fifth. So we decided to do this. And podcast. it's eight nineteen. And uh, <laughs> so. Uh, you like those drum videos, Paul? I think they're better. nice. They could be better. They're no, they're very nice. Yeah? Tell us about it. Yeah, tell us a bit about it. What, what do you don't you like? Take the best views of me. Yeah, I Not know. Enough. No double bass view I at know, all. I know. No yeah, angle. We did have an angle for that, but it didn't uh, It didn't take for some reason. Sounded nice, yeah, though. It did. I it like sounded it. nice. Yeah, it did. Uh, but and I your drumming is cool, too. It's fucking awesome, dude. Your drumming is amazing. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Paul's a drummer, by the way. Yeah, and he no one knew. Uh, got a new drum set. That's why we're doing all these videos. Uh, Napex Orion, how do you like that drum set? Sounds amazing. Yeah, man. If you're, uh, the best drum set. I noticed that Matt Howard why? has that drum set. Uh, or he has why is it the set. best drum set? I don't know drums, so. The tone, the resonation. Nice. It's on point. Made in Thailand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> all he knows. <laughs> <is> good wood. <laughs> nah, 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 but it, it's definitely a good drum set. It's made all specially built, handmade, and yeah. can't go wrong with that. I mean, that tie-in shit. You have like more snares and more stuff like that. Is that what it I is? Have multiple though. Uh, yeah, it's just I added on. I saw that. That came with it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How many um, how many sticks do you break? <laughs> I'm just like curious. One yeah. pair, one pair <laughs> per week at least. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah but they're sticks. jazz sticks, so they. It happens thing. because you let them really get worn out. That's why. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen if you had. If we had a sponsor, F Y. <laughs> <laughs> Looking <coughs> for a sponsor. A head. <laughs> a head. <laughs> yeah, you you drummed with a heads. Uh, those are a good. Uh, they don't drumstick. break. They don't break. They're perfect. Exactly, exactly. And I- explain to the people how you started playing drums. I find that funny because you never really owned a drum set. And, like, the way you started playing drums was by, what, tapping on tapping stuff? Tapping on my desk in school. Tapping on stuff. Yeah. Getting kicked out of class. Teachers must have been. Like, headphones in type of thing? Sometimes. And when, when did that oh, start? Secretly. Like, when did the music <laughs> start for you? Uh, when I went to music class in school. Uh, they were looking you? for a drummer. I was, I was like twelve. Interesting. Wow. They were looking for a drummer, so I said I played drums for five years. You really didn't see much on the spot. So you didn't know how to play. I didn't know yeah, exactly. How to play YouTube. It came. I like remember you mentioned that story a long time a lot ago. Of YouTube so natural talent. No, but it's funny. Pretty I much. find that funny because you didn't know how to play, but you told them you had five years experience, and that's what got you into drumming, like, because. You didn't really have that opportunity to play drums, so I mean, to find a way to play drums like that, I find that pretty funny, and uh, it's good on your part because look where you are now. You know, it's like drumming in. <sighs> I remember uh, you did a lot of shows with that jazz uh, group uh, in high school. Yeah, yeah. So that was a good start. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> got into that. Yeah, that's good. It's like experience. Exactly. It was a little not not smart, but it worked out. Yeah, and like. How did you che- teach yourself? Did it just come naturally, or like, I mean, I know you're There's able to play YouTube like videos. almost any song. Just <laughs> listen to a song, find the beat to it, and then just learn. Okay. But you can learn a song pretty easily compared to the average. Yeah, person. that's it. So you just get it kind of thing. It's very natural to you. Uh, like me, guitaring is very natural, but I can't just listen to a insanely technical song and just start playing it just like that no it's not gonna happen definitely won't happen but i noticed that for you you can like re-listen to a song like at least 10 times and you can 
kind of get the gist of how this goes. I guess goes. it's like over and practice over and over. Well, you just gets have you to better. If you apply yourself 100% on something and you really want to get it, you're going to do it. Yeah. It's like that with anything. Yeah. Work, school, That's so true. you know, goals. You put in the time. Yeah. Like, what do you want to do in terms of drum videos? Like, what songs, what's the next songs that you want to start filming and getting done? Uh, I know we have our own shit that we got to get done, but I'm down to carry on with some cover songs yeah. like that. Like, what songs would you be down to do? I want to do some more relaxing music actually really? more like uh some jazzy type of stuff maybe the opeth really yeah there's a lot of jazz and it's nothing heavy yeah, yeah a heavy little a bit, bit too but yeah but they have that one album that's all but it is jazzy definitely yeah. jazzy. i like that kind of stuff yeah it's cool. swing i like that too yeah because yeah. i know you're really into heavy um, heavy metal music so like but i started genre? in a jazz band so yeah exactly so I didn't know you like other genre of music. Yeah. What about um, Dream Theater? You down yeah, for that? I'm down for that. Dream, Dream Theater. That's going to be like crazy videos because they do long songs. So it's going to be yeah. long videos. At least five, um, 10 minute videos. You know, yeah. Could like be 15 10 minute minutes songs? sometimes. Yeah, they have 10 minute songs. Wow. Yeah. We'll do uh, Honor Thy Father and exactly. Nightmare to Remember. Yeah, that'll be <laughs> sick. Can do some Avenged Sevenfold too, I'm sure. Yeah, I was thinking about that today. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Some of the old stuff. It's some very of the known. Old stuff. Yeah. Very known. So all you're saying is you want better angles. <laughs> better angles. <laughs> you, need a, you need a videographer. Someone that can actually... <laughs> Sorry, fucking flu. I hate this goddamn... Oh. Don't there, give it to me. Yeah, yeah. yo. Uh, that's one thing I wanted <laughs> to ask you guys. Like, uh, You guys have any like methods of naturally l- remedy for fucking any sicknesses like because for real this year's flu was like a really bad one everyone in my family got sick anyone that came in contact with us got sick so you know it's not that i don't want to take all this medicine but it, that all the medicine buckley's all those things that are out there it's so bad it's i just can't take that anymore like we need natural remedies like advils and stuff like yeah that. just anything tylenol advil uh, it's pretty it's like horrible yeah it's made in a lab, you know, so it's, it's oh, like yes. chemicals exactly. that you're putting in your body. Exactly. It'll help you for the moment, but I think, like, it just in the long term, it's what's, like, destroying you. Exactly. And, uh, it's like poison. Fucking hate it. I'm not going to speculate too much on it, but uh, it is a pain in the ass. I think that what you need is, like, just more sleep. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it you is need to rest. rest, man. It does help to rest. Why does it sound echo now? Yeah, it added some echo there. <laughs> It's okay, man. We don't we don't need echo, man. Just as, like how it was before, <laughs> that, it was perfect. I didn't realize that. Wow. But uh, sounds like I was in the yeah. Room. We were in a we were going into the void. <laughs> <laughs> like if I was in One like CSI. More podcast. You know? <laughs> but uh, no. Uh, yeah, sleep. Like I was saying, just a bit of more sleep, water, all the good stuff. Everything you you eat and drink, and keep yourself busy. Exactly. But keep things. a strong head. I think it's all in your head too, you know? That's it. A lot of it's in your head. Like if you really wanna like cure the sick, you have to believe that you're fighting yeah. with them. Slothing okay. around doesn't If you help. like some most people they you know, they like uh they lay on it, you know, they they're like, Oh, I'm sick and just by saying it you stay sick kind of yeah. like Justin. Nah, this that's whole week. kinda what I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you I just don't say you're like fuck the sickness. Like you keep on doing what you do normally and it's like it goes away kind of thing because you're not like, like thinking about it as much, you know. That's true. You're not like focused on it. Right, right, right. But uh, no, nah, it's cool, man. It's really cool. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm like, happy it's over. I haven't now. been sick really th- this winter, and that's how I keep away, man. You drink the water, you you sleep well, keep having good sleep patterns. I I I really believe that. Definitely. Because the days you get less sleep, or just fucked, um, like one day you get a lot, one day you don't. That's when your body starts being unbalanced. Yeah, that's a good point. Just to prevent, you know, kind of thing. How many hours do you sleep? Roughly like seven most of the time. Because I do go to bed late. But because I do it like often, like it's consecutive every day, it's the same. My body gets used to having that seven hour as good enough. And it's always around the same time that I'm going to bed and waking up. So. It creates like this pattern and your body enjoys that 
more than if let's say someday you go super early to bed and wake up super early and some other day you go super late and then wake up super late to bed. right you yeah know? it's like unbalanced like for one day it wouldn't be that bad but like a couple days yeah i feel you i feel you see it that way <laughs> <laughs> so uh besides but food the- man food also important yeah food is you important, don't eat man. well though for sure you don't create like antibodies you know like that kills the virus exactly you believe in that <laughs> for sure and right. smoke a lot of weed smoke a lot of <laughs> weed. yeah yo man that shit will cure guys, anything i wanted to ask you guys about that like when weed becomes legal like what's your take about that it's funny you're saying weed's gonna be legal because i saw this video yesterday and the guy was saying it's technically like not really being legal. It's more like, you know, they're they're not like taking out the prohibition. You know what I mean? It's just more like they're gonna take a right from us and then sell it back to us at a price. You get it? That's pretty fucked up. Actually. You know what I mean? Because they're gonna take control. They want to yeah, monopolize that capitalist world. You know, capitalist. Yeah. yeah, capitalist world. They want to like just control, monopolize every single business. That's so they see that as a business that they can take advantage of. I find that I know what you mean. What's gonna happen is like the control of the quality and all that stuff. Like this b- guy from BC was talking in the video, and he's already growing, and he finds like that that new law that's gonna come in is gonna affect really the people like him, their grow out operations and everything, because they're gonna want to take control, you know. So what I find fucked up is that the government can put people in jail for the longest time, and then out of nowhere just be like. Oh, we're going to legalize this, and now we have the control over the sales and the money, and just like that, they have control, and what happens to all the people that went to jail before? And uh, pr- now the penalties for having more than a certain amount of weed, I think it's going to be worse, and if you happen to buy some and you have a bit more and you want to get rid of it to your friend now if something goes wrong it's it might look even worse now you know what i'm saying like uh, you know we don't not know, everyone like, is a drug dealer just because they buy a little bit of uh weed and then they have a bit extra to get, give it away it doesn't mean you're a drug dealer yeah. right? but see that's what's happening is that anyone that you know what i mean i i know that trudeau wants to eliminate like the access that young th- young people to the access of weed you know? right but is that really happening, actually? Because I don't find that being the real reason. Weed was the easiest thing to get when we were young. It was yeah. the easiest thing to get. Easier than anything. Alcohol was I harder. find it easier now, too, bro. I find it Dude, easier Dude, it's so now. easy now. Yeah, it's but like it's even easier easy. to find harder drugs nowadays. Yeah, okay. Probably. So, But we, we I'm not trying to legalize cocaine. Yeah, no. we're not talking about that. Yeah, that's but, different. <laughs> but they... And that's bad, man. Yeah. Man. Like, we don't do fucking hard drugs like that. That's... Um, like anybody that leans on I have that no direction. offense about it, but I'm they just saying they should take that care of that before they what do you start mean, though? working Can you on this. Explain what you're trying to say. Yeah. Well, literally, they have to basically get rid of all these drugs on the street instead of working on Why decriminalizing. Why don't they do like Portugal just l- decriminalize everything, everything? And no, bro. They, it's not because they want to legalize the weed for benefits. It's for their benefits, bro. It's about making money. Exactly. They're going to be taxing. Right. It's a business. It's like some other source of income. And at the end of the day, bro, they're obviously going to put regulations and like prevention and all that stuff. But like we don't want that because now weed – is a black market, so it's really like open to all kinds of price. You know, it's like, it's you know, it could you can grow and sell it to me for like the cheapest shit. Someone else can sell it so much. There's no really price to it. It's like demand, you know. Right. So if the government controls it, then they obviously will start pricing their shit in a certain way that they're gonna control the tax. Everything. But what's you know, crazy st- is that it's a plant. It's just like a tomato plant. Like how do you oh, but they're gonna know who smokes weed, who comes no, in by, you're gonna have a client it, card. It's gonna honestly, be like, like I'm not trying to be like, like oh, I grow weed. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I, I grow actually a lot of things. Vegetables and a variety yeah. of things. That's what got me uh it's a flower, bro. It's, it's such it's a plant when you see flowers like other plants how they grow and then you see a plant like weed there's no difference. There is zero difference. We're we're taught to think it's such an exotic plant that's a difficult plant to grow, and it should cost so much money to buy. But the reality is, it should it should cost less than corn. 
because <laughs> it's so abundant and there's thousands of resources you can get from just one plant you know you can get so many benefits off just one plant the oils medicinal benefits the cbds uh, you could make Material. shirts walls pretty much anything and anything you can food. everything you can think about yeah food yeah. seeds the hemp seeds that people eat those are really healthy but that's why the hemp is legal for the products eh? like they're starting to do this yeah but it's it just annoys me that we live in a world that's like very uh, yeah at this point 2018 like how like oh we're gonna yeah. switch the switch we're gonna flip the switch just like that like, yeah okay but all this time it was like don't smoke it don't even get yeah, close yo. to it yeah it's every but there was a time i mean it's, it in was, a way it's good because it we're gonna be part of the 2018 uh, when it was legalized like we will remember before and after that's what that's what's gonna be very interesting yeah but uh, but it's going down a, a way right now. You understand, like as a country, because we're not living in the states and we're not living in other countries. It's different everywhere. But in Canada, in Canada, where the weed is going, it's like the next subject. You know, that's what they're talking about. Before any other thing, right? Right. <laughs> Some people find that funny that like the gouvernement Trudeau is like thinking about legalizing weed before thinking of other stuff you know right yeah other it's a bit important aspects i don't know man it's a w i think it's a way of making money that's why they think a lot about it like where there's money to be made bro there's gonna be like things going down action you understand yeah i feel you because <laughs> like there's always there's all kinds of ways to tax us and like weed is gonna become a new market so it's like cigarettes alcohol like you said it man they control that market you ever see black market alcohol anymore? Not really, bro. But see, that's another thing that I wanted to say is that uh, why was alcohol, like, why was there a ban on alcohol in the uh, early 1900s? In the early 1900s, the alcohol was illegal for some reason. Does anyone know why? I don't. Yeah, well, uh, this this could be like a this could be totally bullshit, but like, apparently it was because cars. When cars were invented, you could run a car using alcohol that was made with potatoes uh, and anything. Pretty much anything could 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 power a vehicle. And the people, the oil companies, all these rich billionaires, or at the time they were multimillionaires, not billionaires yet, they decided to get together and make alcohol illegal. So the prohibition of alcohol came in because of oil basically which is not like alcohol was legal for a long time and then this oil uh, uh, companies came in and made it illegal a imagine you're someone that likes drinking and then out of nowhere it's it's illegal you're still gonna drink yeah you know what i'm saying so you found your a way to get your alcohol and basically they they opened the market for mafia yeah the mafia came in at that point they and chop it then they started yeah doing all this uh distribution basically mm -hmm. and uh it's really crazy if you think about it but uh but now we're in a w in a time and a period where like everything is kind of socially accepted you know so it's different you know it's very different now like there's nothing that's like it, nothing's new really you understand like nothing i don't know exactly. you understand what i mean yeah I like feel you. alcohol man kids knows about it every like weed same thing it's getting to a point where like it's socially accepted that it is man yo see like porn is so accessible you know right. <laughs> before yeah. man it was no, not exactly. accessible that, that much it's true it's you really know, true like kids super young could accept we live in a period and a time you know it's like, like very kid visual, knows yeah man. they know more than you think They're but on think the about when so you were young like the difference from then and now there's a huge difference from when yeah there was a period when you change, were young yeah. there was a certain thing uh, s there was a certain style that the internet was developed like it was still in an internet. it was starting it was very yeah. small it was young yeah. and like For i remember sure. specific things like the computer uh, the internet was a big part of my childhood but it wasn't the main part it oh, was just it was no, a big no, part no, no, not no, the yeah. main part it was like such a for me like because when i we were born in it technically we were born in it you know, we right. s we were it, we didn't really see it happen. Yeah, exactly. We were, we were pretty it. much born in so, it. So, exactly. like for me, the internet was really like this is ex like it was extra. You know, it was like families that had it, it was like extra. It was like right. damn, you have internet. Whoa, 
Right. But now it's like, <laughs> who doesn't have internet? You know? Exactly. So it's so accessible and it's accessible everywhere. What That's do you think true. about this? Tell me, Paul. What's your take, Paul? Yeah, I haven't heard you speak. <laughs> Check one, like, two. You know what I mean? Like, what about you when you were young, bro? You didn't have the internet either, I guess. Or did you? You know, it wasn't. I had better things to do. <laughs> well, exactly. But you found things to do because the internet wasn't part of your life. So it's not like it was there. I find that like nowadays, like it's so there for kids that they don't do the things we used to do, kind of thing outside and and trying to find and create stuff. You yeah. know, you can have fun with anything. They're just on their phones all the time. Yeah, I'm 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 general generalizing, but like I see it everywhere, and uh, it's bigger than ever. So it's like just hopefully these kids they find something. No, but what what I think you can get crea- creative with the internet though. I find that, like, what kids, what they have to, that that's all they have is uh, internet and technology. Like, they, they don't appreciate other things, unfortunately. It's like, because there's so much content that's out there that it's just overwhelming. Yeah. And, unfortunately, You've I seen feel everything like most almost, people like, are, internet. most of the younger people are leaning towards dumb stuff instead of inspiring and stuff yeah, that you're like, going to learn yeah. stuff like they're leaning on dumb stuff. substance yeah just like anything that's quick and five second video that's as quick and dumb as possible and i'm just <laughs> it sucks yes yeah, to catch like the attention because okay. it's just that uh, if you're telling me that what those people are producing as content is valuable content and it's going to be like worth in like get it, taking in and you can use this for any day like like if if you were to act like how most people act on these youtube channels like you're gonna be like far behind in the world because that's pretty dumb like it's just that i find it it's weird because like it's not inspiring is what i mean it's just like totally dumb and that's the problem at it even on 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 tv there's no all the shows that are on tv it's full of commercials it's like 50 percent commercial and then 50 percent crap you know, it's just you have to go on like Netflix and find the good shows if you want to actually get something good. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. like, or you got to go on YouTube and really search for some good content that you want to look for. But I don't know. You have to want to look for it, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you got to check the sources. You got to search for good stuff. But the videos that you're talking, you're talking mostly social media, I think, because, well, that's what's big right now. Social but media. I'm not even that big in social media, to be honest. And I noticed that when I when I do go on social media for a little bit of time, it fucking takes up too much of my time. And I'm a guy that doesn't go on it that often. So I could see how that's a problem. It's like there's a problem there when it Facebook can just I could scroll on Facebook for like half an hour and just like, yeah, come that's out the with wrong nothing, thing. You know? That's like it's the like, wrong approach with social media. I find the good approach is more like if you use the platform for what it is, which sharing content and right. all that stuff. So it's like if you're using the Instagram to, to to share your content or post your stuff, I find it good. But like if you're there scrolling through the dumb shit, then you're you you're mostly no right, losing, exactly. You know you yeah you're losing time. But know? I'm just saying you know it's one good video then another good video and then after it just leads to like dumb videos. It's, uh, that's <laughs> what happens. It's like, and I'm I could admit to it too, but it's like it's it's, it's how this can't be cre like good for the creative mind like just sitting there watching useless videos like as a musician mm, it's not very inspiring like you want to do something that makes you want to do something inspiring give a message. I don't know, it's yeah sh- like motivate people and give them a message type of thing that's it exactly you know? just find do anything. things to relate with more than just showing you know dumb stuff that leads nowhere i understand your i understand your view uh, and it makes sense but I find that, like, what's getting the views nowadays is the dumb shit. Because 100%. it's so out of, you know? Like, it's, it's captivating for to the sure. eye for most people. It's for appealing. Sure. And but it's weird that, that that's what It appealing. does that. It's like, I guess it's like in our, in the way we're built, that's our brain kind of, like, enjoys. Now it's so easy to just, you know, lay down on a couch and just check your phone and be entertained before you had to create entertainment. That's true, man kind of for yourself tv before you know tv before tv kind of for me is dying i haven't watched tv in years you guys have any good shows that you're watching 
It's not Black up Mirror. to date on anything. Yeah, I heard, I I heard, heard that was Black good. Mirror. Yeah, I haven't watched that. I heard it's good, too. I don't watch many, bro. La- Honestly, my favorite show all time was Lost. Yeah, it's uh, a fucking it really amazing changed, show. Lost is one of the best crazy. shows. That is a good show. Tripped me out. And I've seen other shows like uh, Breaking Bad and stuff like that, but never was nothing was like Lost. And uh, I enjoyed Lost a lot because it, it didn't feel like such an American type of. Yeah, exactly. It felt really like jungle yeah, and man, different. It felt like out of this world. Exactly. It was way different other than these Hollywood type of. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel Hollywood like type of. Uh, movies, yeah. Or movies. Uh, shows. Shows, yeah, I was looking for the word. <laughs> man, <laughs> yo, these shows. headphones are the. F- they're, they're not working out that great right now. I can hear it, but... You could hear all the buzzing? Yeah. It's fucking annoying. It's okay. I'm, like, living through it. It's not that bad. (laughs) (laughs) He can't hear it. Took it off. Look. Take it off. Yeah, you can take it off. Then you don't hear anything. But I can't hear how loud I speak, so... Yeah, that's true. But I just keep speaking uh, normally, but... Can you hear the... Can you hear you? Yeah, I could hear me. I could hear you, too. No, but can you hear, like... Now... Yeah, I still hear your... Yeah, it's just buzzing a bit. Uh, we thought it would be cool to set this m- this whole setup with three things like this. It's nice the headphones, it's good. but it's good. actually when you take them off, you hear yourself way better. Now I felt like I was speaking too loud because <laughs> I had the headphones on. Yeah, just speak into the mic. That's all. Mm. But uh, <laughs> besides that, everybody's. W- what's the plan for this week? The plan. Just keep recording. The recording. And the recording. Yeah. For sure. And podcast, <laughs> we'll do some more podcasts. Yeah, podcasts, or that's what I enjoy, man. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing it, man. To, we we really enjoy it. To, just Paul is not a, a talker. That's what I realized. But we're gonna start breaking him. <laughs> po- po- one podcast, podcast at a time. Not a podcast. podcast at the time. It's okay. It's just because he he didn't he didn't he needs to smoke a, a bigger joint and then he'll communicate more with everybody. <laughs> I don't smoke. Nah, he <laughs> smokes a lot. He's a pothead. <laughs> we are all. Nah, I'm just kidding. We we all <laughs> well, don't drug addicts. We we don't we don't I'm say smoke kidding. weed, but do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> we uh, don't. Weed uh, is not a drug. It's a plant, man. That's how honestly, you like, it, man. if it's weed and coffee, I got no problems with it. Hash, no problem. Coffee. Edibles, I got no problem. Nice. But uh, if it's anything above that. Anything above mushrooms, I can't. I can't say anything. What chemicals? I can't say I've done anything except shrooms and and marijuana. That's it. But <laughs> Shroom was the shit. Shrooms is fun. Yeah. You you only did it once. I've heard MD was good. Too. We're doing shrooms the next podcast, and we're gonna all <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> we should like take it. shrooms and do the podcast. Exactly. That's what we're gonna do, dude. That's it's gonna be great. Shit. We're gonna all communicate. We're gonna look like dumbasses. No, we take a low dose of shrooms. That's what we do. A low dose. Like at least eight grams. Just one gram. <laughs> in tea. <laughs> and then we all jam. Eight fucking grams to the brain. We're going to set a camera, multiple cameras on Paul, and he's going to do right a crazy drum eyes, video so we while he's on shrooms. So he's like <laughs> bumped up and shit. But Probably it's not. okay. The reality is, is that... Uh, me, I, I have no problems with none of these things because <laughs> you it's your body. You do what you want to do, you know? Uh, but I have a problem with somebody say, uh, saying you can't do something. Like, why can't you do anything? Uh, do whatever the fuck you want to do, you know? Well, people drink, you know, and uh, I don't think drinking is that great. Just because we were taught up, uh, grown up to think alcohol okay. is good, you know? You, s- you saw your dad drinking beer. Nice, you know? And a little drink feels nice too sometimes, but it's not the greatest though. It's alcohol. It's like body horrible poisoning for you. or something. Horrible. Yeah. THC but is more like medicine. Yeah, exactly. Like just the THC itself. More like. But medicine. see, that's the thing. Like again, more like it fits better in the body than the alcohol. The alcohol is like not really absorbed. You gotta talk into the microphone. Oh, sorry, it's not like really <laughs> absorbed. You know, the alcohol. It's like. I can't explain, you know? It goes straight to your blood, bro. And then you get fucked. Exactly. You know what I mean? Nah, the I can't handle can't even... It goes through the pores because so it's not like water. I can't handle that. My uh, liver is just weak. Very weak. But 
No, that's not like the once point. in a while, but still once in a while is okay. Yeah, when I'm on vacation in Singapore, uh, have a few beers uh, for of sure. Of course, of course, for man. Sure. You gotta enjoy it. That's the point. Like people know that it it does that, but they just choose because they enjoy it. That's it. Exactly. Sometimes, man, you can't think about like uh, the consequences always. You know, gotta think about the benefits. That's it. Exactly. Like, what you what you benefit do you get from it? You, it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Nice beer, you know, in the summer. Exactly. I wouldn't say no. You drink beer, Paul? Not into it. Not really. Yo, you're tea. like the you're like the cream guy. Eh? Like, do you eat cream? Nah. Not really. You don't <laughs> like eat macaroni and cheese? <laughs> no. Fuck no. Okay. Like what? <laughs> you don't like cheese. I don't like cheese. That's nah, you're good. Not a cheese do you guy. eat dairy? Not really. No. Good. Dairy's bad for you. Why? It's full of hormones. It comes from cows that are like, you know, not good cows that are eating grass fed. You know, we all talked about this one time where the cows yeah. like need to be like, it's kind of like they live a good life. They produce good milk. And if they're like shitty from where it's coming from. You know? And also just the fact that it's milk. That right. Has the hormones in it. Okay. Okay. For sure, bro. It's like meant for baby cows, you know, but we drink it. That's you know, it. We drink cow milk, but we wouldn't drink human milk. No, nah, exactly. Kinda That's weird, true. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I stopped drinking milk actually a while ago, but uh, but I tried just because it made my skin nice, very oily. Yeah, for sure, man. I can tell you. <laughs> That's what I found. But yeah, y- it's true. The dairy product, man, stay away. But or else, like, do you eat, like what do you eat, man? Tell me. Anything and everything. Pretty just much whatever happens to be there. <laughs> <laughs> like chicken. I like pork roasts. Okay. You're a meat guy? Yeah. I'm starting to slow down on meat now. Okay. You're going the vegan path. Pretty much. Yeah? Trying. Are we going to hear about vegan Paul soon? Are no. you going to come out as a, a vegan? In a couple years, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, this podcast really de- went away from Paul uh, drumming and everything. Yeah, I'm <laughs> mad tired, <laughs> too. Paul is mad tired. It is a Paul's bit late. Not into this. See, the thing is, is that Paul isn't a talker. That's what I realized. But he can let his drumming do the talking. So <laughs> watch the goddamn drum videos with him and drumming. let us do the podcast. And every once in a while, we'll throw Paul in the mix and he's just going to say what songs he's going to do. But yeah. then he'll just walk right not out. Even. <laughs> he's going to play in between our talking. See, um, that would be cool. Like in the he back, lets the, we're gonna the go to Paul right now. Talking. And That's then Paul what he does. drums, and we go back to the podcast. We'll yeah, if if you want, we can we can totally go uh, see pa- Paul do a little drum thing. It like switches the nah. video on the other side, and then <laughs> live. I think Paul is a little bit lack of energy today, and lack of motivation, knowing that we have work tomorrow. See, we're in the making of getting our music recorded and going on tour and doing the whole all the fun stuff basically like we're almost there and when we're there we pretty much sacrificed our entire lives to to get to this point we we don't have commitments anywhere besides music so this is our main commitment our main focus pretty much the only other commitment i can say that happens is a little two-week vacation that happens once a year and that's just me that does that every once in a while because uh, I need that vacation. Gotcha. Everyone gives me shit for it, but it, it's nice to go away for a little bit. But that's it. Everything else is music. Everything else is purely music. And even when we record and we do our stuff, I don't even think there'll be time to do too much after that, too. You know, It's just going to be copywriting and just constantly... It's going to be a lot of computer stuff, I'm sure. A lot more than we think. A lot more computer stuff. Putting the release something. Putting soon. that work in, doing v- music videos. The work is there. It's being put in, definitely. You need to release soon. Yeah, we do. We do. We have. Something. How many songs did we record, Paul, already at this point? Ten. And what are the songs that you recorded? Can you name them? Soon to come, until the end. Wiped out. I just can't wait. Universal Laws, Timeless. Timeless. I think that's it. One Reflection. One Reflection? Yeah, that too. What else? Peter Song. P- Peter Song. Peter Song. 
It's not gonna be that called Peter like, Stone. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be called Peter what? Stone. What? That's so. That's the sickest name ever. It's so intriguing. Why? It's just a. It's, I would see Peter Song on a thing. I'd be like, "There's some." It's like Adam Song, you know? Like, isn't this <laughs> isn't this like intriguing? It's like super intriguing. Like Paul, who's Peter? And you know, you want to know. Like, I don't know. I, guess. I find it. Uh, I'm not worried. I, honestly, I, think I like the name, name but I, name. it's just that it, it was a very controversial name at the beginning. Because <laughs> one time we did a show and the girl thought we said penis song. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <really? She's laughs> like, I thought the song was called that. I was like, nah, nah, nah. Peter <laughs> song. <laughs> Peter, Peter song. song. That girl is dirty. I was like, okay. She heard what you wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, thanks for <laughs> correcting me. I'm like, and it was a writer. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, but, shit. But uh, it's okay. Where it's was okay. that? Uh, it was just at a show downtown, but <laughs> okay, it's a little shit. show. It's, it's hard to hear sometimes, though. Yeah. A lot of people, it's loud. But uh, that was the only reason why I was considering changing the name after that. <laughs> but <laughs> no, it's just nah, the way you pronounce okay. it, cool. I guess. Peter Song. Yeah, just be like, it's the Peter Song. <laughs> Peter Griffin Song. People are gonna be like, "Why are you saying it that way?" <laughs> yeah, why did we uh, call it the Peter song? That's true, because well, of the guy named Peter. Peter yeah, he's someone. It started he's because he's of a dumb guy, unfortunately. <laughs> and dumb? He, I wouldn't say dumb. He's a nice though. guy, but he, nice guy. he just needs to get a little bit on Not the A dumb. game. But it's just the facts here. You know what I'm saying? Some people need a little bit more than others. <laughs> A little bit more push, go do this, help yourself a bit, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it was just a time. That's we had a, uh, one of those friends, we wrote this song, but it ended up being a very serious song, that's the thing. A very serious. It has nothing to do with him. Yeah, it has nothing to do with him, <laughs> the song, basically. The, just the name is Peter. Well, that's why I find it cool, because then, then, then you come out and explain that to someone. That's fucking jokes, because the name has but see, that's nothing the thing, to like, do with the song, but the song's... In, that's what... People like, I guess. I like that. Exactly. I find that it, exactly. it has yeah, meaning. Yeah, I have no qualms. It has there. meaning. It's not like it. you just invented something for something. It's more like, at the time, that's what you created. That's the meaning of it. It has a meaning. Right. That's just original. It's not. Yeah, it has a nothing path. created. It just happened to be that way. So for me, that's. But cool. literally, all the songs that we're recording, uh, these songs we've had, we've been playing all these songs for at least five, six years now, and. It's time to get those songs recorded, and th they've been through an evolution. You could hear the difference when we started. It was like, it was well, you have two more other very guys in your band too. Yeah, so. it's true. We added a lot of people. Like a lot? You mean like uh, well, two people? But yeah. I mean, it's like a two it, it changed to a the four. the way we play certain songs. Like yesterday, we tried jamming just me and you, and it was like different. And it's because I the way we play it now. Uh, we have a second guitar, so it helps me in certain ways. But back in the day, I was playing like if there was, you know, I almost had to play like if there was a second guitar, but there wasn't. So that style that I would play, the way I would play the same song was slightly different. And, and you have a bassist. Now, yeah, we have the bassist and everyone's, the whole band is pretty much solid now. It's just record and you're going to hear some good stuff very, s very soon. You're going to hear some good stuff. And... We're going to do a lot of music videos, too. That's what's important. These podcasts, we're going to let the people know about the music videos that are coming out. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Do you have anything to say uh, to the people? Uh, anything more? To the people, I just yeah. want to say to whoever is going to ever listen to this, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you. No, I'm dead serious. No, no. I mean, honestly, no. people are going to listen to this. We're listening to this. Ten years down the line, I'm going to listen to this. <laughs> This is for us, man. I really don't give a fuck. It's for to listen to it, but honestly, sorry. I mean, I, I know people <laughs> are listening to this like, hey, what, what an asshole. No, 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 we're all we're all in it together. If you took the time to listen to it, damn, we did something right. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. But uh, no, 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 that the goal is music, <laughs> music, music. That's for sure. And uh, we we always knew we were gonna make it in music. It's just when it's goddamn now <laughs> that's when that's when it is so it's time. push keep pushing release some music and uh we're pretty happy with the results i think uh, with what especially with the drum recording with Alain Carlier it's amazing it's amazing we're 
actually going to get him on the podcast very shortly. It's, uh, yeah. it's a bit hard <laughs> to get him on the podcast. You guys can't see him, but he's the one controlling the sound right now. He's ri- right out of the shot, but he's here. He's here. And uh, he plays a major role at uh, Young Cat Studio here. Uh, it's a really cool place to come jam and uh, in Montreal on Gwaine, not too far away from the 13. And uh, just anytime, come check it out, Young Cat Studio. You yeah. know how it is. It's pretty easy to get here, Best right? place. Yeah, it's really good place. Come jam, get a booth like Noel said the other time. But uh, Paul is actually... Uh, I told him for a while you should do drum tutorials. So I think maybe yeah, we should do shows get on that, in the like, other tutorials. Room. Yeah, you can have like the the the. You remember the apartment show type of thing we went to? The show, show apartment. apartment. Yeah, this is like comedy. This would is be cool. studio part. Would be cool to have some comedy. Though. Of course, bro. Have the mic up there and the thing, and have a seat and make people come. Definitely, yeah, that would be great. Shit. Actually. <laughs> That would be like cool. Something on the floor that should get Noel and uh, we'll, we'll we'll speak with Noel. We'll organize a show, a comedy show at the that studio, be, Young Cat Studio. Sell five bucks a ticket. Get some good bucks. names out, like good people. That <laughs> <laughs> get yourself some like someone that you know that might be really funny and interested to come. Yo, they had good yeah, people for sure. down there, man. I was not like I was impressed. Yeah, I was impressed too. I was very funny. impressed. They had food and everything. Yeah, like it was really fun. It was on the low kind of low budget but it was still like very nice because because it was on low budget i find it very interesting exactly like entrepreneurs doing this you know yeah it was sick so to me yeah, that's cool man i like to help these people out maybe someday they'll make it and i'll exactly. be like damn i went to their first shows that they ever created for sure it would be great comedy night and maybe even like some music in between little little quiet not as intense just like a relaxing kind of songs maybe acoustic so <laughs> you know something where it's yeah not you so can intense. have someone play like they yeah different musicians different yeah, comedians the girl, the girl was really good too yeah really good she knew how to sing but uh, she knew how to sing i think uh, paul's pretty tired so we're gonna end this podcast and, cut uh, we're gonna cut this one short and uh keep watching for more podcasts uh, yep. available every day that uh, we post one <laughs> just keep your eye out <laughs> peace so, thanks f- thanks for coming paul go upstairs yeah. and pass out keep drumming keep drumming thanks for coming folks my name carly thank you for uh, helping us with everything another podcast done peace <laughs>